Nicaragua, heart of the American continent, containing one of the largest forest reserves in the world, the lung of Central America. 19 active volcanoes, part of the ring of fire surrounding our planet. Here, the ground shakes. The sky pours down. Conflicting visions collide, and unimaginable adversity persists. But in the midst of it all, Nicaragua's faith withstands, moving forward with a prayer and a hopeful smile. This is the greatest wealth of the country. Its people. The same people that once inspired a man to leave everything behind, to walk alongside them towards a better future. Over 70 years have passed since the missionary Padre Fabretto first set foot on this land. Today, we follow his legacy of service and love for the exceptional people of Nicaragua. Their stories of resilience are the heart and soul of our mission, despite suffering the debilitating effects of poverty. Mothers are learning new techniques to stimulate their infant's development. Exemplary teachers give it their all, keeping the doors of our centers open, where children learn, play, and dream. Young women and men innovate and steward the land, planting, harvesting, providing income for their families. Communities join hands together to bring food to the table. Parents volunteer cooking with love what is often a child's only full meal of the day. We honor their beautiful resilience. Because of them, we have no doubt that no matter the circumstances, like a flower, Nicaragua will bloom and her children will thrive. Be part of their journey. Join us. Good evening, friends of Fabretto, and welcome to Unite for Ninos, our first ever virtual event. I'm Kevin Marinacci, and I'm the CEO of Fabretto Children's Foundation. As our world continues to meet the challenge of the COVID pandemic, we know now more than ever, it's important for us to support each other, even if it's just virtually for now. So we do appreciate you tuning in and connecting with Fabretto. We've been keeping you in our thoughts and prayers and trust that you and your family are safe in this challenging time. Your outpouring of support and commitment for the families and students of Fabretto has been overwhelming and we're deeply appreciative. Gracias. Thank you for being here with us this evening. I'm truly honored to share the stories of the students and the families and the teacher and the staff of Fabretto whose passion, commitment, and resilience help us meet our mission day in, day out, in spite of the challenging times. I'm especially proud to present to you one of those students here with us tonight, a young woman who's been in our program for over 10 years and recently started her first year of university in the city of Esteli. Please join me in welcoming Lady. Gracias, Kevin. Hola, amigos. My name is Lady, and I am currently in med school, fulfilling my dream of becoming a doctor thanks to the generosity of friends like you. I am excited to be here today as a testament to how far their support goes in Nicaragua. Before we continue with our program this evening, I want to share with you a couple of housekeeping items. We want to remind you that the auction closes at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific, so you have the opportunity to continue to bid even after the program ends. Remember, you can bid from your phone, tablet, or computer with this web link. Bidding is easy. 
just click on the auction icon to get started. We also encourage you to communicate and engage with us over social media. Take a picture of your Florida Cana cocktail or your family participating in Unite for Ninos and post on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter with the hashtag Unite for Ninos. Thank you again for Uniting for Ninos this evening. As Kevin mentioned, it has been a difficult year around the world and Nicaragua has not been an exception. As the country suffered through the pandemic, La Familia Fabreto has come together to respond in extraordinary ways because ours is the story of resilience, ours is the story of hope. Hello everyone, my name is Anina Huey and I'm Fabreto's Director of Programs. I'm based in Managua, where I've lived for the past 10 years, and I've been working with Fabretto since 2013. It's wonderful to be able to share with all of you this evening about our programs. We work in some of the most vulnerable communities across the country, in rural, semi-rural, and urban settings. Many have very limited internet access, and some even lack reliable phone service, running water, and electricity. After a rapid diagnostic process of conditions for distance learning, our team began to shift to remote work and limited activities in the centers. By May, all of our programs had been converted to distance learning. Although our centers have been physically closed, our education programs for children and youth have continued through innovative and creative approaches, leveraging the digital resources available and lower tech solutions such as printed materials and radio where necessary. Despite these challenges, we have seen incredible opportunities emerge. We have connected over 900 teachers to training in technology and innovation. We have seen teachers motivated to integrate technology in their classes, using tools like Google Classroom, creative communication through social networks, filming videos, and developing other original resources for their students. We see parents supporting learning from home using their creativity to enhance the activities that teachers send through digital platforms or as printed study guides. We have seen students go the distance to continue their education. I was personally moved by the stories of youth in our SAT rural education program on the Atlantic coast who live in extremely remote communities with limited phone service and electricity. We were able to provide the students with most economic need with tablets and mini solar panels to connect. Some now walk miles just to reach the closest spot to connect to mobile data, download information, and communicate with their teachers and classmates. The dedication of the entire educational community, students, families, teachers, staff, has been incredible to witness. In August, we celebrated the graduation of 318 youth from Fabretto's SATTEC Technical Training Program, equipped with skills in farm management, agriculture and entrepreneurship and prepared to improve production on their family farms. To date, we have distributed over 6,000 kits of food provisions and hygiene supplies, such as masks, soap, and cleaning solutions to families in need. As members of the local Nika Salud network, we have also worked to promote a campaign that provides communities with the information they need to protect themselves from the virus, promoting hand washing and good hygiene practices, through virtual training sessions, brochures, and messaging to parents and teachers. These are just a few examples of the ways that we have continued to serve communities in Nicaragua in 2020. Partnerships are more important than ever, and we are grateful for you and the many friends of Fabretto who have connected with us and supported our work this year. Thank you. Bueno, le doy gracias a Dios primeramente a Dios. Después los donantes que donaron esos paquetitos para los niños de la escuela, ¿verdad? Que Dios los bendiga. Padre Fabreto set down roots in the Segovians, the northern region of Nicaragua and home to some of the most famous Nicaraguan musicians. Ever since I was a child, dance has been an important way of expressing myself. This evening, I would like to share a piece of Nicaraguan culture with you.
Fabreto is changing the lives of countless children and youth in Nicaragua. One of these students is Lester, a young man who is a pioneer in his community, La Cruz, becoming the first to reach the secondary school and then the first to enroll in college with the support of his sponsor, Chris. Here is a story of how their two paths unite. Uno de nuestros proyectos es aquí en la comunidad La Cruz, que queda a dos kilómetros de, del basurero. Es una comunidad que tiene muchas necesidades, no hay agua potable, no hay luz eléctrica. Hemos venido trayendo bienestar comunitario, educación. Lester fue uno de los casos que más me llamó la atención. Era un niño que desde, desde que lo conocí le vi ese amor por la lectura, esas ganas de aprender, esas ganas de salir adelante. Terminó la primaria y después el reto era ir a secundaria. Aquí no hay secundaria en la comunidad. Toda la, la gente de la comunidad pues, de acá recogía basura y él pensaba que no lo iban a aceptar por venir de donde venía. Actualmente él apoya aquí en la escuela, hace voluntariado, también ayuda a los otros niños en reforzar las materias y todo. Y también él quiere ser como un ejemplo de que sí se puede. Tengo mi nieto querido que es Lester. Sí, ese es el orgullo mío. Por eso nosotros lo estamos apoyando. La beca para mí significa una gran ayuda porque no, me beneficia a mí en gran parte porque así puedo comprar las cosas que necesite. Tener un padrino me motiva a ser un buen estudiante y culminar mi carrera universitaria. Hi, my name is uh, Chris Honorado, and I've been a Fabretta supporter for about eight years. When I was a sophomore in college at Georgetown, um, I was studying at the business school, and there was an opportunity through the business school to apply for a pilot fellowship um, that they were offering to students to go down to Nicaragua and work with the CFO Fabretta in the Managua office. Um, and we had the chance as well during that summer to travel around to a couple of different Fabretta centers Um, including spending a week up in the San Jose de Cusmapa um, Center as well. Um, so that was the first time I got involved uh, with Fabretta. Estar para mí en la universidad es un reto porque uh, interactúo con personas nuevas, y maestros, y hay nuevas oportunidades al momento de culminar la carrera para un mejor futuro. When I thought about what it meant to be a sponsor, um, it essentially was just communicating, you know, you provide on one hand a certain amount of financial support just to help the student continue with their education, but more importantly it's just constantly communicating that you believe in them. That was something um, that I was lucky enough through school, you know, from my parents, my family, friends, mentors at school, um, that I always got to, that I got to hear, uh, and that helped me a lot to kind of achieve Um, the things I wanted to at school, and so um, having been the recipient of that, I wanted to at least pass along as much of that experience as I could um, to a student as well. Hace un poco recibí un mensaje de mi padrino Chris. Me siento contento de haberlo conocido por primera vez y sus palabras me motivan a ser mejor persona y un buen estudiante. First, I just want to say. Congratulations on all your academic achievements so far. And we all want to communicate how proud we are of you. Um, you've done a great job so far, and it sounds like you've definitely kept up the hard work. And I want to congratulate you on the great grades that you've received so far at your time at university. Um, we definitely look forward to continue hearing um, about all the great things you're doing at school and about what comes next in your professional career. Um, and, you know, eventually, whenever the, the, the sponsorship runs out and, you're t and you, you, you graduate from university and take the next steps, we're always here as part of the Familia Fabreto um, to support you, um, to provide any answers, any guidance that we can. Um, so with that, I just want to say congratulations again, and I wish you and your family all of the best. The message of my parents makes me believe really that I can achieve my dream. Al culminar mi carrera, quiero ser un administrador de empresa y así contribuir al desarrollo de mi comunidad. Yo soy el vivo ejemplo de lo que el aparinamiento puede lograr, gracias a personas que sin conocernos hacen un gran cambio en nuestra vida. 
Lester's story is a truly a great inspiration. Like him, I can attest to the power of education. I first joined La Familia Fabreto when I was in fourth grade. Throughout the years, the enrichment programs helped me develop a love of reading and the extracurricular activities helped me broaden my horizons. But the greatest game changer was the English Access Program. I knew that I wanted to become the first bilingual female doctor in my community. Today, with the support of dedicated people like you, I am closer than ever to reaching my dream. At this time, I would like to invite you to be a part of a child's journey of hope through education by becoming a child sponsor. Sign up by clicking or tapping the icon below and the Favreto team will set you up with a child to sponsor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darwin O'Gara. I'm a Nicaraguan pianist and composer. And tonight I'm gonna be performing a musical selection for you. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for all the giving that you're doing because it does make a difference. And thank you, Kevin Marinacci, for allowing me to be a part of your family for so many years. Thank you, Fabreto. Enjoy. This is exactly why we're here tonight, to hear from Lady and from Lester and to witness how far they've come, thanks to people like you who've supported them and for Bretto over the years. Because of you, they can aspire to big dreams for themselves and for their communities. Students like Lester and Lady, their families have had challenges over the years, whether it's social or political, 
are now the coronavirus that we all face together. In spite of that all, their determination has not wavered. In fact, they've doubled down. And so whether it's Lester studying business or Lady studying medicine, we know that they will give back to their communities and pass on the great gift that you have afforded them. This year, we celebrate 100 years since the birth of our founder, Padre Fauretto, a century, a legacy of love and service. Padre Fauretto helped thousands of students and their families overcome obstacles and reach their goals through education and opportunity. La obra, or the work that he built, stands strong today. To celebrate Padre's life and work, Fabretto is producing a video, a documentary, to capture that great legacy. Tonight, I'd like to share with you a sneak peek, the trailer from that film. Cuando él salía a la calle, podía percibir que había mucha niñez en el abandono. He completely imitated Christ through that humble service. Mi mio lavoro consiste nel raccogliere i bambini orfani abbandonati di Nicaragua. Padre, doctor, alcalde, cocinero. Un padre de educación, un padre de fe, de espiritualidad. Que yo nunca tuve un papá. Sentí que él era como, como aquel papá o aquel padre que yo nunca había conocido. Esa es la historia de él. Nos gustaría ver que lo canonicen. Su obra nunca pudo caer. Si no le hubiera hecho caso al padre, digo yo, yo tal vez hubiera perdido mi vida. Pude ver lo hermoso que es. Ese hombre que no tiene copia, un verdadero querubín, un ángel de nuestro tiempo. Y todos los días era de milagros allí. Entonces el padre era santo. Que viva, viva nuestra ciudad, San Lerigos Mata. Le encantará. Many of you have joined us in the past for our Night for Ninos event. Some of you have yet to have the chance, but most all of you have heard the story of our inspirational founder, Padre Fabretto. Padre Fabretto worked for decades to serve the children of Nicaragua, and he did so with donors, partners, teachers, and friends like you. And when one of those went above and beyond the call of duty, he would call them Corazón de Oro, Heart of Gold. Our founder, Father Fabreto, affectionately thanks supporters for their Corazón de Oro. Today we follow this tradition by recognizing those who give without expecting, love unconditionally, serve selflessly and those who have a heart of gold. Thank you for sharing your valuable heart with children in Nicaragua. Thank you for giving, loving, and serving with every beat of your heart. Over the last five years, we've been blessed to know Abby Stone. Abby came to us through Tenuity, a company formerly known as Elite SEM. Elite SEM first learned about Fabretto through an incredible volunteer, Zach Zapersky. Zach became part of La Familia Padre Fabretto, and his incredible personality 
Sean, and inspired so many of us to continue the legacy of Padre Fabretto. He was an ambassador for our mission until he passed away in timely death in 2014. Tonito employees, both past and present, continue Zach's legacy through their great service to the community of San Juan de Oriente and the Zach Sapersky Library and Education Center. Abby wholeheartedly took on this role after Zach's passing, becoming the bridge between Tenuit and Fabretto. Since 2015, almost 100 Tenuti employees have sponsored children in the community of San Juan de Oriente. Tenuti employees have helped renovate the library and the education center that bears Zach's name. They've come on countless mission trips to improve the campus and connect with the kids and inspire them to reach their dreams. Abby has been back to Nicaragua on several occasions to connect with the kids, share stories about their sponsors, and bring those stories back to Tenuti to let them know how much their sponsorship means to those children and to that community. Abby has enlisted her friends and family to run the annual Stone Turkey Strut 5K, benefiting Fabretto. Last year was their fifth annual run. Despite leaving the company, Abby's service has not stopped there. She's given Fabretto countless hours of advice and guidance through her professional background in digital marketing. This year especially, she worked one-on-one -on -one with our team to organize, set up systems internally, and to help with the planning and execution of our marketing and fundraising campaigns. It's really prepared our team, especially given the unexpected pivot to digital. In May, we were honored to have her join our board of directors. It is with great pleasure and deep appreciation that we give this very special Fabretto Award to our great friend, Abby. We are so thankful for your service, your love and commitment to the children and the community of Fabretto. Muchas gracias, Abby. You have a heart of gold. Thank you, Kevin, for the kind words. I will forever be grateful to Zach Sapersky for introducing me to Fabretto so many years ago. I've had the pleasure and privilege of working with so many people throughout the organization, and they have all welcomed me with open arms. What Fabretto is doing for the people and mostly the children of Nicaragua is life-changing, but it doesn't just change the lives of the children. If you volunteer or sponsor, it has a tremendous impact on you yourself. So I highly encourage you, since tonight is a fundraiser, give what you can or sponsor children because guaranteed it will change your life. Thank you. Well, that wraps up the portion from here, beautiful Nicaragua. I can't thank you enough for being with us this evening and over the years, and especially now in this very challenging time. Please know all your thoughts, prayers, and action have made possible the dreams of young people like Lester and Lady. Please know that we can build a better future together. We can build a better world. And that comes with the generosity and the support of people like you. So we do ask once again for you to reach out and help the next generation of students and families of Febrero. Thank you so much. Hasta pronto y gracias. And now, say an adios from Nicaragua. So on behalf of Team Nica, here in Managua, we thank you and turn it over to Team USA in Evanston, Illinois. Thanks, Kevin. Live from Evanston, Illinois, welcome to our office here in the United States. We are so happy you guys joined us this evening and thank you for staying on and tuning in for the most important part of our evening. Stories like Lester and Letty's are the most important and just two of many in Nicaragua. We really um, see these stories of resilience and strength and we just know that we can help so many other children because of their example. Like Kevin said earlier, I wish I was with you guys in person. There is nothing better than a big crowded room in one of my favorite cities across the country. So we hope that we were able to bring a little piece of this to you at your home. So tonight, I am with a good friend, and here is our 
auctioneer extraordinaire, Chris Hensley. Hi, Chrissy. How are hey, you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. It is so great to be here with you tonight. We it's are amazing. here to raise a ton of money tonight, right, Chrissy? We are indeed. All Chris right. has been with us for about three years for events at our in-person events and has been instrumental in helping us raise money there. So we are happy he could come with us tonight on this virtual ride. Thanks, Chrissy. So like I said, so excited to be here with you all tonight for our first ever, and let's hope our only ever, right? Because we'd like to be back in person, but it's our first ever virtual gala Unite for Ninos, all right? So uh, Fabretto's mission is, it speaks to all of our hearts, right? It does you know, indeed. The, the mission to give opportunity and access to children across Nicaragua is just so important. And so Chrissy, as you said, as you know, this is my sixth event now with Fabretto. Isn't that right? amazing? We've been in uh, Chicago together, obviously. Yes. We've been in DC together. Yes. Uh, we've been in New York City together. And I know there are folks right out there tonight on this virtual gala with us in DC, in Chicago, in New York City, but also in some amazing cities that we haven't been to together yet, yes. right? So Miami and Houston and San Francisco yeah. and all across the country. And so we're here tonight coming directly into your home because we need you now more than ever before. We need your dollars to support this life-changing mission, right? We really so, do. As I was driving over here, I was thinking about that special moment that we shared in Washington, D.C. just a few months ago, right? When so many people got their paddles up in the air, yeah. right? And so we, we're going to need people event. to do that again. Um, but, you know, technology is an amazing thing. Like you said, we can't be there with them in person, but we are right here. We are in your homes, and we are asking you to give in a personally significant way, all right? Right here tonight. And so... Yeah, and, and I just want to reiterate, we are live. And I am so nervous. <laughs> so just want to put that out there while you're sitting on your couch. That's but fantastic. we're doing this. I am not nervous at all because <laughs> this mission speaks to me, right? So, okay, so we have uh, typically uh, a live auction, right, at all of our Fabretto events. But tonight we have just a little spin on it because 2020, we put a spin on everything in 2020, we, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is called our not-so-live auction here tonight. And we have some unbelievable experiences, we Chrissy. Do. I yeah. know all of you are itching to travel, so when it is safe to, we are ready for you to do that yeah. on these amazing trips. Yeah, so three trips. We've got a trip to Bali. Yes. We got a trip to Bali. We've got this amazing house in Italy. And we've got an amazing oceanfront house in Nicaragua, in Nicaragua. itself. Yeah. So um, we're going to welcome a couple special guests here right now. So first is the founding chairman of the board of Fabretto, Mr. Carl Marinacci himself. And we're also going to introduce Mr. Bill Glast Glastris, the current chairman of the board as well. But Carl, I want to come to you first, and I want you to tell us about this amazing home in the Abruzzo region in Italy. Well, I wish I were there right now, actually. <laughs> um, I bought it 20 years ago. Uh, it's the village my dad was born in. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, it's in the uh, beautiful mountains of central Italy. It's about an hour and a half drive to from the Rome airport. Uh, our place is a restored stable of one of the wealthy families in town. <coughs> and uh, my wife Barbara and I have the apartment upstairs, which is the old hayloft. Uh, we have uh, four, four uh, we can sleep four people up there, five up there and then four downstairs in the guest apartment, which is where the horses who uh, powered the uh, carriage of the wealthy family used to be, and then after World War II, sheep were down there. Um, it's, uh, the garden is beautiful. Uh, I can see snow-capped mountains till uh, early July. Uh, I can walk to two wonderful bars every morning to have cappuccino or coffee. We have tons of wonderful restaurants close by. Uh, so please bid on it. I'd love to entertain you there. <coughs> if I am there, I'd be your tour guide if you want me. Uh, if I'm not there, 
you can find your way pretty easily. You can drive to the Adriatic in an hour. You can uh, drive to all kinds of interesting little villages. If you like to see old churches, we got plenty of those. Uh, it's wonderful. So please bid on it, and I'd love to see you there. All right, Carl, thank you so much. You know, Carl, I was supposed to be there this summer. Uh, yes. we, we were cut short uh, because of COVID, but uh, we're going to get that back on the schedule for 2021, 2022, we hope, right? Absolutely. So, okay. All right. So now I want to uh, switch from Carl to our chairman of the board, Bill Glasteris. Bill, you've got, I, I, I haven't even seen pictures of this one, but you've got what I am told is an amazing Pacific Ocean front uh, house in Nicaragua. Well, we sure do. First of all, thank you, everybody, for your wonderful support. Uh, we couldn't be happier, and we, we hope that we've inspired you and that we are inspiring you. Uh, this is a tremendous opportunity uh, for you to make a difference in these kids' lives, see our Fabretto kids, meet our staff, see, what, see our work, and, and we hope that uh, you'll bid it up. So this is a, uh, a five-bedroom house in Gigante uh, on the Pacific Coast. Uh, below us is the crashing Pacific Ocean. There's a white sand beach, an aqua resort at your disposal. Gigante is a fishing surfing village. Uh, it's truly authentic Nicaragua. Uh, you can see the monkeys in the trees when you get up and drink your coffee. You can go surfing in the Pacific. You can go fishing. You can watch the fishermen below you pick the lobsters off the rocks. Uh, it's a tremendous experience for a big group, big group of friends, three families perhaps, two, three families, that kind of a thing. Uh, and know that it's available to you for the next three years. So if you don't want to fly right now, if you don't want to go see what we're doing in Nicaragua, you have plenty of time to do it. Our, our uh, property manager, Graciela, will take great care of you. It's a gated community. I'll make sure you're taken very good care of, and I know you're going to have a great experience. So please bid. Thank you so much. Bill, thank you very much. Hold that microphone there for a second, because I just want to confirm something for a second. You said that this sleeps 15 people. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, there's beds for 15. There's five bedrooms and there's beds for 15. That's right. That's fantastic. So folks at home, pool your resources if you need to, because this is a stay of a lifetime. And I, I want to make one other point, too. While you're in Nicaragua, you have the opportunity to visit some of Fabretto's programs as well. Right. You'll probably fly in and out of Managua, which is where our offices are based. You'll have an opportunity, if you, if you like, to see one of our centers, perhaps, meet some kids, see the staff, really experience our, for our work at Fabretto. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, Bill, thank you so much. And, and let's just one more time thank Bill and Carl for their amazing generosity to Fabretto and for their service on the board of directors as well. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for all that you do for Fabretto. All right, let's bid it up. Yes, let's bid it up. You heard them. All right, so um, why are we all here tonight? We are here to raise money for Fabretto. So let's get that out of the way. Now, normally, if I was with you in person, you would all be dressed beautifully and you would be out at tables. You'd be enjoying wine. You'd be enjoying maybe dessert right now. And I'd be up on stage asking you to grab your paddle and throw it up above your, hair, uh, above, above your head and wave it around like you just don't care, right? And so we can't quite do that, though, this year, can we, Chrissy? We can't. No, so... <laughs> <laughs> We've got an alternative to you tonight, and that is a different kind of paddle raise. We're, we're going to call it a fin finger a raise. finger right? raise, so right? We need you guys to be uh, working that keyboard, hitting that donate button, typing in numbers with commas, and lots and lots of zeros after them, yeah. all right? So, all right, get those fingers ready. We need everyone watching to give deeply, give from the heart, give in a significant way because it is more important now than ever before, right? It is. Our friends in Nicaragua, Chrissy, they have faced so much in recent years. Yeah. And then we added a global pandemic on top of it. Yes, you know, and, and we here in the United States have been faced with such challenges. Um, you know, we can only imagine what communities who are in such rural turmoil going through at this point in time. So it is the time to help. It is. There's so much on the line as well. Your gift is truly life-changing tonight. And so we really need you on that donate button as quickly as possible. There are so many ways to give as well, right? So you can give via credit card. Yes. You can give via stock gift. 
You can give you a donor, donor advised, advised fund. fund. Um, we'll take cash, can, obviously. A check yeah, will work as well. A check. I've even offered to drive around picking up checks. All right. You have. So, you have. Um, <laughs> if there's anybody in San Diego that wants to write a check, I will drive out and pick it up. All right. As long as there's good scenery. As long as there's good scenery. Okay. All right. So. Chrissy, we also have a really big announcement to make here tonight we do. that's going to make everybody's gift a really significant gift, all right? So right. we have a matching gift. There, there are several large benefactors, uh, donors, board members who have come together and offered us a match here tonight, a $1 for $1 match up to, get this, $75 thousand yeah. dollars right here right now tonight so if we can raise seventy five thousand dollars we will achieve an additional seventy five thousand dollars tell me about the impact of that chrissy uh, it's amazing right it's two for one right <laughs> two for one yeah. so we are just so incredibly thankful and blessed for this group of people that came together to make this match this evening and that really means that you're one hundred dollars oh Wait a minute. Is now what? $200, yes. right? And you're $1,000? I think it becomes $2,000. Yes, and you're $2,500? Sounds like 5000 to me. Yes. How amazing <laughs> is that? Yeah, it's double the, it's double the amazing is what it yes. is, Chrissy. We're so. really excited about it, and we hope that even just the smallest amount could be doubled and will make double the impact. Right. Yep, yep. So, all right, folks at home, this is your chance now, all right? Let's get ready to double our impact for Fabretto, and let's get ready to make an impact in Nicaragua, okay? So our first level, it's a big number, I know, and we only need a couple of you on yeah. the other end here tonight to respond to this number, all right? But we're going to put it out there because we know if we don't put it out there, we know the answer is no, right? And so our first level for the night, and we're going to be watching right here to see if anybody we're comes in. See is $25,000. And again, I know that's a big number, and we're going to just hold here for just a second to see if there's anybody at all that can be so amazingly generous to give that $25,000 gift and speed us on our way to that $75,000. Yeah, and let's let's talk about that $25,000 level. Right? It makes a big impact. It makes a huge impact. That is giving 50 sat children education for a year. And as we saw previously, Anina, our director of programs, told us about the 318 yeah. students that graduated this year. In the middle of a Texas. pandemic, right? I know, in, in the middle one of, of the ruralist communities in Nicaragua. So we are really, this is an important level. We, these students pave the way for the rest of the children in their villages and neighborhoods. They are the role models for them. To see them get to that level makes it possible for yeah. the rest of those children. It does. All right. So we promise to keep this time tight tonight here. So we're going to move trying. on. We're going to move on. Um, and we're going to wait for that $25,000 gift to come in still. So we're going to go next to our $10,000 level. And this level is really cool because it, you, can you can support an entire classroom of school kids for an entire year at ten thousand dollars that's 20 kids for yes. an entire year 20 kids for an entire year and you know this is so important right now because we're doing distance and blended learning and so this helps children be able to do that from home and in the classroom and so you know we're really doing our utmost to get our teachers to send curriculum to teachers yeah or two parents yeah Sorry yeah yeah that. yeah so it looks like we've got our first ten thousand dollar donor that just came in yes. just now at 7 44 p.m ian knox yeah. ian knox is thank in you, at ten thousand dollars let's say thank you very much mr knox thank you so thank much thank you ian. so much wow that's amazing i think we Wait. Let's see if we can get Let's another get, one see here. if we can get one more we're hitting update yes and um Oh, it's the Pulitzers. Okay. Yes, Michael and Steel Pulitzer Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I love it. All right, another $10,000. We really appreciate and let's, it. Chrissy, let's remember also that this $10,000 just became $20,000, yes. right? Yes. Each of those $10,000 gifts just became $20,000 right here, right now. All right, so 
We're going to keep things moving along, yes. right? Let's We're going to go. go to five thousand dollars now because five thousand dollars is so important because it will help people help themselves, right? right. So what $5,000 can do is help 100 families plant a garden of vegetables, uh, of oh grains. Oh my gosh, sorry. One more $10,000. All right. How's that? Ben, ben Kirshner. Kirshner. Thank you so much, yeah. Ben. Very good. Stop me anytime I another know, 10 sorry. grand comes in, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's all right. That's all right right there. Ben Kirshner, thank you so much. All right. So that's our our sec our third ten thousand yes. dollar gift. And right. so we're moving our way to that seventy five thousand dollar match. I do want to say also that seventy five thousand dollar match is great, but we actually need to raise a little bit more than that right now yes. to hit our goal. So to hit our goal for the twenty twenty year, which has been an adjusted event budget because of the pandemic, um, we need probably an additional forty thousand dollars. Yeah, we need like a hundred hundred and ten, a hundred and fifteen yeah, thousand dollars here tonight. Right, so we're right. thirty on our way. We've got that match, you know, so we're moving in the right direction. But folks at home, I know there are hundreds of you watching all across the country right now. We didn't have those six events this year. We only had one event in Washington, DC. And so we really need to make up for that right here, yeah. right now, tonight, so that Fabretto can keep doing their life changing mission in Nicaragua. All right? right. So we were talking about the five thousand dollar level, all right? A right. hundred families families will be able to plant a garden and grow vegetables and grow grains yeah. in Nicaragua. So isn't this cool? This helps ten, 100 farm families. Um, and essentially that means that Fabretto brings in the help to teach the families how to grow their crops, bring in good seeds, and how to live sustainably. And um, really, this is more important than ever um, to generate income for the family, to have healthy foods on hand. And really, you have to remember, these are communities that don't have the ability to walk down the street yeah. to the corner market yeah you yeah. know I, i've got a walgreens down the road i can just right. walk to and uh, grab coffee or grab yes. whatever um, and many they don't of have them, that opportunity yeah and they don't even have vehicles so yeah. you know it's really important it creates a self-sustaining society within their community and so we i love this level i think yeah. it's a great one it's a great level so um looks like we've got a couple donors at this five thousand dollar level montgomery woods yes, um came in you, at five thousand dollars monty in yeah. san francisco All right. we're we gonna hit refresh so on the screen also yes um, i just want to remind everybody again while chrissy's hitting refresh here that we have a match and it's $75,000. We've got to reach that $75,000 in order to get that $75,000. That's what a this. match is Look all at about. This. Okay. We have two more. <laughs> Tom Monahan. Tom Thank Monahan. You, Tom. Thank you. He also hosted a Zoom happy hour before oh, this. Oh, nice. So I hope the cocktails went well. And Eric, Eric Breitmeier. Thank yeah. you so Eric much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those are two Northeasterns, I believe. So thank All you right. so much. Good, good. So we're going to move now to our $2,500 level. We are. Um, and this will feed 100 children in rural communities for a month for $2,500. Cool. All right. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. So, you know, it's been a difficult year. And so our programs team has gone above and beyond with our delivery drivers to get foods to community at to communities, even though these students are not going to our centers. We did close our centers for a time period there during COVID. We have just shifted to blended learning. So during that time period, those centers were closed. We were delivering baskets of foods to communities and families yeah. in need in these rural yeah. areas. And you think about that. Well, so before I say something here, we've got two gifts already at this $2,500 level. Yes. Elaine Cox, make some noise for the folks Woo! in the room. Elaine Cox at $2,500 and Esser Osdigger yes. at $2,500 you, as Esser. well. So, so nice to see your name Chrissy's going to continue to uh, refresh here. Um, but I just want to make a point about this, right? So um, we have the same trouble in the United States right now, getting meals to kids, right? Because right. so many kids eat their, maybe sometimes their the only lunch. meal of the day at their school lunch, right? right? And so if you can imagine that we're having trouble doing that here in the United States, right. think about it in Nicaragua, right? Yeah, think about the I, infrastructure challenges uh, and, and just all the other challenges that they're facing there right yeah, now. Yeah, so. it is. It is really difficult and and for a lot of these children it is their only meal a day so it's really important to get that to them all right so we're going to 
keep moving things along, but I want to remind everybody that just because we left the $25,000 level, the $10,000 and the $5,000 level, it doesn't mean that you can't still give at those levels. Oh my right? goodness. So we got another $10,000. Another 10, see? All right. Thank you, Very Ed good. and Kelly Chestnut. We really appreciate All right. it. Thank you to the and Chestnut family. And they're here in Chicago. All right. Chicago's representing. Yeah. Chicago in the house. All right. So good, good. We're moving in the right direction, folks, but we need you to keep on giving, right? And I just want to remind you one more time, we've got that amazing match. We're working towards it. We need to exceed oh the match. Sorry, we, we have? have another 5,000. Fantastic. From Christina Huey. Thank you so much. All right, Christina, thank you. Thank you. All okay. Right. So we're going to keep on plugging along, we're right? Plugging we're going to keep on. I've got a hand raised over here. You're going to give you're going to give $5,000? There's another five thousand dollars from Carl That's Marinacci. From Carl. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thousand uh, five thousand dollars <laughs> in the room right there. Okay. All right. All right. So now so, our thousand dollar level. Our thousand dollar level okay. provides hundred and twenty five preschool students, hundred and twenty five kids in preschool with supply kits for their at home learning. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I mean So and, these are Sorry. Yeah, th this, this is just such a special level, right? Because I'm convinced that everybody on the other end here right now can give at this level, right? I've seen the amazing generosity that the Fibretto community can give, right? I've seen it in person, and I know that we can see it right here, right now on the computer screen, right? Yeah. So look at We're these gifts coming it. in. Look at these gifts. Angela Alvarez gave $1,000. Thank you, Angela. Uh, let's see. We've got w William Baumgart at $1,000. We've got Eric Breitmeyer at $1,000. We've got Bet uh, Betty Kim at $1,000. Olga and Kevin Mahoney at $1,000. Mary McGovern, thank you, thank Mary, you. for your $1,000 gift. Ramon, you, Ramon Miro, Ramon Miro at $1,000. Christopher Onorado at $1,000 as well. Saw That's thank fantastic. you, Chris. Yes, yes. You've made such an impact in Lester's life, Chris. So thank you so much. And we've got a few others here. Um, Bronwyn Poole at $1,000 and Karen Rosales yeah. at $1,000. So awesome. we're going to hit refresh here. Thank I just want to so remind much. everybody, your $1,000 gift right now was just $2,000. Mm -hmm. And we are speeding our way to that $75,000. But we need more gifts to come in still. We need more gifts at that $10,000 and that $5,000 and that $2,500 dollar and the thousand dollar level all right thank you deanna ford we yes thank it. you deanna all right. all right so as i said earlier we're going to keep moving this along but please get on that keyboard tickle those little keys with your beautiful fingers out there and give from the heart to thank fabretto here so tonight much. all right so now we're going to go to our five hundred dollar level and this is an important one in this year in particular because it will provide hygiene kits for 12 classrooms and that's something that we've never had to think about but this year we do have to think about it yeah we do um you know this year it has been a different one and so these these classrooms and these teachers aren't used to having hygiene kits in in their rooms um a lot of these communities don't even have clean running water. So, um, you know, it is essential for them to be able to wipe down their classrooms, to be able to have the kids wash their hands when they get to school and leave school and at lunch. And, you know, just to have hand sanitizer on hand in the classroom will be beneficial to them. Um, so, you know, we're trying to do our best to distribute these hygiene packets to these areas. That's amazing. So um, we're going to get to the $500 level in a minute because that's yes. where the cavalry is coming in. Yes. I just took a little peek, but I, I came back at $5,000 just out of curiosity. I don't think we called this gift out. We, Christina Huey we did at 5000 Did we? Yes, okay. We thank you again, one. Christina. Yeah. Feel free to give another 5000 if you'd like, <laughs> but thank you for that 5000 Yeah. All right. So I think we have like a couple more things. What did I see? A couple more at a thousand, maybe. Maybe. All right. There's so we'll, many we'll here on the screen here. right now that it's hard for us to tell. So thank you so much for all of you out there who are giving so deeply from the heart tonight. All right. So yeah, actually, oh, you know, one way saw, um, Mitch Cheney. Mitch Cheney. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you, Mitch. So I have a thank funny you. Thing to say is Mitch's son. I'm 
literally looking at across the room. He is our AV company tonight. Yeah. So spent, thank you, Mitch. And he spent eight months in Nicaragua, in country, yeah. working with Fabretto a, a few years ago. He's a volunteer with us. So, yeah, so fantastic. That's pretty cool. All right, let's read off some of these $500 levels. Are yes. there more at 1000 that you want to name? Um, I think we got a lot of them. Harry Langsfield, thank yeah, you, from thank New you, Harry. York. Um, let's see, Nicholas Marinacci. That's Thank a familiar you. name. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. Very cool to see that name up here. Mm -hmm. Um, Eileen Kamrick and Deanna. Vic he Heckler. And Thank you. Deanna Ford Overdyke. Yeah. Also at a thousand dollars. And Chris Winkler. Thank you so much from yeah. Houston. Wow. We appreciate okay. that. So this five hundred dollar level now, folks. This is your chance to get in. We want yeah. to say your name on, on, seeing, on screen here. We're seeing them flood in. So yeah. thank so you, guys. Thomas Cashman at five hundred dollars. Sarah Cox at five hundred dollars. Justin DeAngelis at five hundred dollars. Cesar Dubois, Dubois at five hundred dollars. Yeah. Debbie Gill at five hundred dollars. Warren Guthrie at five hundred dollars. Patrick Hartney at five hundred dollars. Margie Hunt at five hundred dollars. Bob Janice at five hundred dollars. And Maria Magdalena Klima at five hundred dollars. But wait, folks, <laughs> there's, there's more. more. There's more. Chrissy had to like bring the screen <laughs> down. Like there were so many. Here. All right, John Sch uh, Schnid Schindler, yeah. um, also at five hundred dollars. Um, Frank Whitcamp at five hundred dollars. And Paula's uh, Paul Zalus at five hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hoorah at home, Hi. ladies and gentlemen. We are raising money here tonight for Fabretto. We're doubling all of those gifts because of that generous $75,000 match. Hey, guess what? Yes. We just got another $10,000. Yeah. All right. Who is it? Let's see. Harry Kramer. Harry Kramer? From right. Chicago area. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, uh, is this the Harry Kramer from Northwestern that yes. writes books and all of yeah, that? Yeah, he works I've at Kellogg here. Spent some time with Mr. Kramer in my job at Northwestern Medicine. He nice. is an amazing individual. So thank yeah. you so much thank for you, that $10,000 donation that just became $20,000. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Kramer. So, so appreciated. So great. So right. great. So we have seen a lot we of magic are like way, we're on our hour sorry well we're, we're going to run through this real quick three more levels we've okay. seen some magic at this next level before in person right so it's this dollar a day 360 dollars a year a, a cup of coffee a cup of pretty cheap coffee in fact at yes. that um 360 dollars you can sponsor a kid for a year in nicaragua and so yes. we need all kinds of donate buttons lighting up right here, right now at $360. Chrissy, talk to us about it. Yeah, so I was just telling Chris this morning how I paid $3.50 <laughs> for my cup of coffee. So, um, you know, this is the best relationship that you can have with Fabretto and a student in Fabretto programs. And really, we've seen it from Lester and Lady and this evening and how amazing and beneficial that sponsorship was for yep. them and to go the extra mile yep. with their education. And then we also saw the other hand of it with Chris Honorado and Abby Stone. And Abby said it the best tonight, and I, I wish I wrote down her words. She said, this isn't just for the student you are sponsoring, but it has a full impact on yourself yeah. and that relationship yeah. is so special yeah and so this level is ultimately the best thing you can do right yep. now all right so 360 dollars hit that donate button right now we are at our time so we're just going to go for another minute or two we're going to refresh here but i'm going to talk about our final two levels i'm going to yeah, talk about them together it. So at a hundred dollar level, you can get 10 teachers access on the internet so that their students can re learn remotely um, for a month, 10 uh, teachers for a month on the internet. Yeah. And then our final level of the night, and anybody can give it this level, the kids running a lemonade stand can give it this level, it's $50. And in all honesty, if you can't give $50, if your lemonade stand raised $17 and 50 cents earlier this summer, and that's what you wanna give, that's what Fabretto will take. And we will be so, so grateful for that gift. And it will be so meaningful to somebody in country in Nicaragua yes Chrissy you want to say something I do please do I just saw that Abby Stone gave $5,000 yeah. Abby Stone thank, thank you Abby you, Stone Abby. thank you thank you thank you Abby wow. Stone
That's a fantastic gift right there. That so, is. All right. Can we get some people at that $360, $1 a day level? Uh, just a yes. dollar a day. All okay. Right? So I'm going to go through some things because I'm seeing just things flood in. And I want to thank Martin Mayorga. I want to thank John Hitt. I want to thank our dear friends in Denver, Jim Hoy. They just gave $7,500. $7, thank you to the Hoys in Denver. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Um, I want to thank, who else do we see here? Um, let's go up. Oh, we have a $250 level as well that we didn't have on our slides, but we had it on as a button. Yep. So we see George Bunch, Christopher Chang, Paul Glastris, Therese Green. That's my sister. Aww. Beth Kenobi, Aaron Levy, Janet McDaniel, Deborah Moy Moynihan, <laughs> Tracy Razor, Molly Richardson, Kathy Shaw, Alvaro Sol, Laura Solomon. Thank you so much. It just much. keeps coming in. It All really of those gifts does. are going to be doubled, ladies and gentlemen. So um, and then truly amazing. Truly we amazing. have these awesome $100 levels, too. Do you yep. want to run yeah, through yeah, those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kathy Basco, Indiana Baltadano. Um, I, I, I'm, I hope I'm not messing up any of these names too badly. Adam Carrico, Carla Sipersky, uh, Jean Colrick, uh, C. Corey, uh, C. Dory. Dory Culver. Hi, Dory. Um, Megan Gray, Michael Keeler, Carlos Mayorga, and Bill Reynolds. Oh, wait, there's more. Susan Ross, Stephen Shaw, and Luvi Wheelock, all amazing. at $100. So thank you so much, thank so, you. so much for those amazing gifts. All right. Every gift matters. Here we are at $50. Allison DeCruz, Michelle Gallo, Claire Golding, Margaret uh, uh, Grammons, um, Mari Heavey, Juan, uh, I can't say that last name, Joey McDonald, Barbara Palmer, Hector Perez, uh, another Hector Perez gift, Jillian Riley, Jordan Snyder, Juan Soul, Bridget Staley, and Ali Wieselberg Hochstadt. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank All you of those guys are $50. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Chrissy, what an incredible half hour we've just yes. spent together, right? I know. I can't so, believe it. Do we do we have a total? Can we share a total before we go offline here? I think we can. Let right. me see if I can refresh this page Okay, here. so while she's talking, I just want to remind everybody, the silent auction is going to be open still for a little while, so you can keep making those auction bids. The not-so-live auction, um, I believe, is open also, as long as the silent auction is open, yes. uh, not-so-live. Um, you can also keep giving a raise the paddle or, or tap the keyboards gift here tonight. $25,000 all the way down to $50,000 all the way down to $50, um, and we would appreciate absolutely every single gift that you can make here tonight. Yeah, so I just see it going, the total going up and up and up. Yeah. So we are currently at $357,000. Wow. Yes, yes. And For I think we started at like 220 20 tonight yeah, 220. so that is amazing One hundred forty thousand yes. dollars in 30 minutes that's yeah that's amazing over a computer thank you fabretto thank you for everything that you thank all have you done out there you all are truly remarkable human beings thank you so much for your support tonight chrissy take us home we I, just so much gratitude thank you so much we are just thrilled to be able to do this even if you're in your pajamas sitting on your couch. Yes. So thank you so much, yes. and um, it keeps going. we hope to see you next year. We're at 390 now. I know. 397. 400. <laughs> 410. Oh, my 410. gosh. We just keep going. This is fantastic. Thank you all. Thank, thank, you. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.